Uh, okay, welcome. Uh, my name is Detective Ryan Moreno from South Trap Detectives. Uh, that's R Y A N M O R E N O. Uh, the reason we're here today is uh, we've had a big problem um, in this city with speeding and people getting killed, uh, car crashes uh, due to speed, right? Uh, a lot of it is from our street racing, uh, street takeover type element. And we also have people that are just driving reckless and crazy. So we're having a uh, year to date right now in South Bureau. Uh, we have 63 fatalities so far year to date. And uh, of those 63 folks, 25 or so have been due to speed. Um, so we're here to talk about some of the street racing stuff that's happened. And also we've had a, a, a last week, two individuals killed in two different incidents right here around the corner on Broadway. One's a manslaughter case and the other one is a, uh, a hit and run where a homeless man was crossing in a crosswalk and a dark SUV takes him out and continues and leaves him for dead. Uh, we're still trying to identify that person. And like I said, he's homeless and we're, we're gonna, we'll talk about that. But uh, first and foremost, this past Sunday on August 15th, there was a rash of uh, takeovers that were going on throughout the city and throughout the county. A um, little bit before midnight, 11.30, there was one that was down here around the way in the county, in the Willowbrook area, that there was a takeover, and that actually resulted into a shooting that the sheriffs are actually handling and investigating. Shortly after that, possibly 45 minutes later, a large group shows up right here in this intersection of Figueroa and El Segundo, and they began another takeover. Uh, as they're doing their thing and blocking the street, uh, a large group ends up coming in here to this parking lot and eventually enters 7-Eleven, which was still open. Uh, it turns into a real just angry, somewhat mob mentality. They come inside the store, they start ransacking the place, um, taking everything, whatever they can and get, uh, food, uh, cigarettes, lottery tickets. Uh, at least someone tried to grab the, the, the cashier box. There was one employee that was working at the time and they feared for their life and basically just kind of did whatever they could and retreated back away from everybody. Um, there was no resistance, no fight put up. Uh, as it progressed, I think at one point there's probably a hundred sub, a hundred plus folks that actually make it inside the store. Um, what we want to focus on is we're releasing video of these acts that are that were committed inside. So there's one individual we like. We want the public to talk and identify several of these persons that were involved that were inside the store. Uh, our southeast detectives down here that work the southeast area of LAPD, they are investigating this. They're handling that that portion of this crime. Uh, they tell me that there are. Um, numerous charges that these guys are facing from vandalism, looting, um, grand theft. And what I want you guys to focus on when you watch the video, there's one individual in particular, he looks like he's a male Hispanic. He's wearing a Colorado Rockies baseball hat with a CR logo on it. Um, he's also wearing a backwoods, like the, the cigar blunt um, cigars, uh, backwoods jersey. Uh, this guy just decides to start grabbing food and chips and, and bananas and stuff and starts throwing it at the worker who's just basically hiding in the back and for whatever reason, kind of escalates that into more of a little violent encounter with that guy. So we really want the public to help and identify some of these folks. When you watch the video, um, we, we actually made some still some still photos, some still shot photos of some of these individuals. There were some good shots, but as the people watch this, again, this could be someone that you might work with, you go to school with. It could be someone's kid or family or a, an ex or something, but we really urge your help and have these people come forward. Um, we really want to prevent this from becoming a new trend where they think that they show up and take over a street or a freeway or any part of the city that they're just going to be able to do whatever they want, come into a store and take what they want. And we're here to basically say it's not going to happen. We're actually working right now identifying all these folks and they're going to be held to answer and held accountable for this action, okay? Um, that being said, when you watch the video, there's a lot of guys that were in there that were touching stuff. There's glass counters and glass things, stuff. so they work in getting prints also. So there's a lot of things happening to try to identify these folks. And I'm telling you right now, the, the city, we're real serious about this. So um, again, urging the public to come forward and identify some of these folks. You can remain anonymous. Um, we have our crime stoppers that you can go through. We also have our number at South Traffic Detectives, which we'll have, you guys will have on our flyer. Um, but again, we're, we're urging the public's help in this matter. Um, so before I get to the, the hit and run, I want to kind of stay here on this. Uh, and then we can go. You know, like right now, I mean, it's a couple things. You know, it's there's a lot of a lot of different variables, right? Because while this is going on here, there's also other ones taking place over in the valley and in in, 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 in Orange County and other places, right? So it's, it's a big problem that's, that's problematic a lot of places. Not even just here in, in California. It's, you go across in different states, it's also having big problems in a lot of big cities with the same issues. Um, it, with us right now, and I want to say this is a good thing that's happened because of this, becoming being such a problem, is that it's, it's forced us to basically have a lot of different entities within the LAPD 
um, and other agencies that are surrounding the area that we're now starting to have better communication and kind of re-strategizing and seeing what's been working and what's not working and kind of figure out a different plan going forward. So I can say this, as far as the South Bureau of Los Angeles, the Los Angeles Police Department, um, moving forward really soon, that one thing you're going to start seeing is a lot of these cars are going to start disappearing. So I'm telling you right now, we'd prefer to be, have good weekends and go to the park and go to the beach and have good times and be peaceful. But if they're going to start doing this kind of stuff and you're going to start inconveniencing people and locking down freeways and taking over, cars are going to start disappearing real soon. So we want to make that really clear. We prefer peaceful and good times and good weekends, you know, but if it's going to be the other way, that's fine. We're getting ready for that too.